I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber Jay. Jay, thanks a lot for sharing this question. And I hope many of our viewers and subscribers will benefit from the solution. The question here is, I am planning to put up a rectangular garden with a fixed area of 120 meters square. If the dimensions of the garden have to be a whole number, determine the dimensions that will require the least amount of fencing material to enclose the garden. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Let's begin with a small sketch. Let's say this is the garden. And we'll define our variables, length and width. So let's say L is the length of the garden, W is the width of the garden. We are given area equals to 120 meters square. So both length and width will be in meters. Now we want to find least perimeter. When we say fencing material, that means the idea is to get minimum perimeter. Now as far as the perimeter goes, in a rectangular garden, opposite sides are equal. So the perimeter is twice length plus width. Correct. So least perimeter also means that combination of length and width is also minimum, right? How can we solve this question? Since we are given that we are to only work with whole numbers, right? Since we have to work only with the whole numbers, like numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, what we can do is that we can try out all the values which will give us area of 120. Correct? So we'll try all the values which will give us area of 120. That is to say, we can make a table well with length and width. So we'll say let width be W, length be L, and we'll see what is the combination of width plus length. Right, just that much. For all possible values, which will give area of 120. The combination which gives us minimum width plus length will be our solution, right? So area of 120, how can you get 120? If I multiply 1 with 120, I get area of 120, right? If I multiply 2 by 60, half of this, I again get 120. 3 times what will give me 120? 3 times 40 will give me 120. And uh, 4 times what will give me 120? 4 times 30 will give me 120. Well, let's try some other values also. So let me make another table. There are not many options. So this method is not bad. So we'll again take some more values for width and length and we'll calculate what is width plus length. So we can also divide 120 by 5. So if I divide by 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 20 means 24. 6 also we can divide it by 6 times 2 and then 0. 7, no, 8, yes. 8 times 1 is 8, 40 means 15. 15 times 8 is 120, right? And then 10 times 12 is 120. And the next number is 12. So with 12, we get 10. And then we'll repeat these numbers, right? So, so basically, we have to only check up to this point. Is that clear? So these are the only values which you have to try. It doesn't take much time. Let's add them now. 120 plus 1 is how much? 121, right? Let me write in a different thing. 121. And 60 plus 2, 62. Do you see that combination of width and length is decreasing? That means perimeter is decreasing, right? So this is 43. Just add them up. This is 34. It is still decreasing. 29, 26, 23, and that is 22. And this will also give us 22, right? So what we see here is that the combination 10 and 12 
gives you the minimum combination of width and length. Perfect. And what is going to be the perimeter? So perimeter is going to be 2 times 10 plus 12, which is 2 times 22 or equal to 44 meters. Right. We need the minimum dimensions. So our answer should be what? Well, the answers should be that the dimensions of this particular rectangular field could be 10 meters by 12 meters for minimum perimeter, right? Perimeter is related to cost of fencing, correct? So that is the minimum cost of fencing the rectangular garden also. So I hope the solution is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. Now, here is something interesting to note. If I have a square of 11 and 11, then what is going to be the area? Perimeter will still be 22, right? So points to think about is 1 square 11 meter by 11 meter, right? We still have perimeter of 22, but the area is 121, slightly more. Do you note that? Normally, it is the square which gives you minimum perimeter. Now, in this particular case, 11 times 11 is 121, more than 120. So, our answer will be restricted to 10 meters by 12 meters. Is that correct? So, that is how we could actually solve this particular question. Now, here is a question for you. Question for you is that if fencing material cost is dollar one point two five per meter, then find cost of fencing. I should say minimum cost of fencing, right? So that is an extension to your question. So you can now answer question from this particular context. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.